Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to my original intro, so you get me in my pajamas making a new one. We are going to be starting with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway construction update, and with that, let's get to the video. So here we have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The building does look like it's about to be completed because they are putting the walls up on the east side of the attraction building. So hopefully that means that they will start implementing the show elements and the attraction itself. I don't know what I'm looking at really with what part of the attraction it is because I don't know what Florida's layout is. But it, the building does look like it's nearing completion and we should get ride elements implemented soon. So mind you that construction for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway began in August of 2019. So it's been under construction for quite a while, especially with COVID hitting. Um, that probably took a lot of time out of it. So. It's good to see that a lot of construction is getting completed and that the actual building is finishing up and then we could actually start getting the attraction put into place. So it's a little long of a line to get in right now just because they are only down to two toll booths to get in to the parking area. So the parking attendant said that it's about a 50 minute wait to get in, but the line doesn't look as ridiculous as I thought it would be so I am willing to test it out and see how long it will actually take. There are a lot of people leaving right now so hopefully getting in will not take too long. About six minutes in line and I've already made it through one switchback so uh, the line is moving pretty quickly so I'm pretty happy about that. So first getting in, it doesn't seem too busy. It's all, all the crowds, I don't know if those are trees down there, but it does look a little busy down there. The line for the Lego store is a little bit long. So if you are deciding to come, just expect lines for the stores before you enter. All the tables have been removed on the patio for Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. It smells like Mexican food, but I don't believe Tortilla Joe's is open. So the Jazz Kitchen Express is open for takeout, but you cannot eat the food on property. You do have to take it to go. This is the line for the trading post, the Galaxy's Edge trading post. You can get your shakes and burgers at Black Cat. The same rules apply. Cannot eat it on property. You do have to take it to go. For Ballast Point Brewery and Kitchen, they do have merchandise you can look at and purchase. They have these cool ugly sweater t-shirts and actual ugly sweaters. No restaurant is open, just the merchandise. So out on the patio, you can get a beer to go. And when you order the beer, you get them in one of those cool little cans to go and drink it on property. And over here, you can get more beer to go that is already pre-bottled and canned. Cool little wall decorations for when you go up and down the stairs. Gonna check out what's inside the Disney dress shop. I haven't been in here since it was the Anna and Elsa boutique, I believe. So this is my first time in the dress shop. And it looks like they have a lot of fun merchandise. 
And here you have a cute Dalmatian sweater and jacket. A Marie little backpack. With a Marie sweater, jacket, zip up. I do wish it was the three cats from the Aristocats, Toulouse, Berlioz, and Marie. But still cute. And over here you have a Dalmatian, Lady, and Pluto for the dog lounge fly. And here you have all of the cats on a bag from Disney animated movies. And on the other side, more cats. They light up, right? And over here you have the dogs. And over here you have select holiday merchandise that is 50% off. And when it rains, which it rarely does, you could get this cool umbrella that has all the cats and dogs from all of your favorite Disney movies. And this cute little parka. This cocoa dress is freaking adorable. And if you're looking to go all out for Captain America, they have this cool now Captain America merchandise. The line does look a little long. It does go back over in that area, but I am going to check uh, Buena Vista Street to see if the line is any shorter. And if not, I'll be making my way back. So we can walk right into Buena Vista Street. We'll see how the lines are in here. So the line is a little bit long for uh, Five and Dime, but it doesn't seem as long as World of Disney. So they have a lot of exit and entry only doors so that you aren't trying to scoop by other people while trying to get in or out of the shops. So last time we didn't get to say hi to Walt and Mickey, so here we go. So this is as far as we can get for Avengers Campus right now. So unfortunately no updates on that. I guess you could see a little bit of these straight lights, but that's all I could really get. So here we have some Lunar New Year merchandise. And I just learned from the cast member that that stands for Moo. So it's Happy Moo Year because it is the year of the ox or cow. So it actually means cow. So it's supposed to be like Happy Moo Year. And then this is as far as we could get into Grizzly Peak. Hopefully we'll be inside soon to enjoy soaring over the world. Soaring around the world, soaring over the world. Soaring with the world. So over here you could buy some balloons in front of Carthay Circle Restaurant, along with Mickey and Minnie Light Up Premium Bucket, the Mickey Jingle Bell Sipper, Peppermint Mickey Bottle Topper, and the Santa Mickey Mouse Snow Globe Zipper. And here is some of the new 2021 merchandise you are able to purchase for the new year. So the last time I was here, I was unable to walk this far. I was only able to walk up to where the red car trolley was. So now, with off the page open, I am able to walk all the way down to the Fairfax Market. And here we can walk all the way up to Monsters, Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue. But we can't get on. Obviously. Then over here you could get a cool monorail set. Then inside here you could get some Grogu merchandise as well as the new spider bot that they just released not too long ago. I will show you a video of that at the end of this video. And you have a Loungefly Star Wars. 
bags, along with Tatooine and other spirit discs. Then over in the back lot, you can get a lot of Christmas merchandise that they do sell it in the stores. So if the lines are too long, just come over to the back lot inside of California Adventure and you could get your Christmas merchandise here. And here we have the 2021 merchandise. A Mickey plush, t-shirts, jackets, this hat. I'm not gonna unfold any of the shirts. So don't ask. I didn't see this in the Disney dress shop, but you could get a uh, four pair crew socks that are the Disney dogs. And then you could also get four pair crew socks that are the Disney cats. And also with Earl of Sandwich, you could get food, but you have to take it to go. So if you see it, the line is a whole lot longer than when I first came in. So if you decide to go to downtown Disney, Make sure it is an early trip. So that was my trip to downtown Disney. It wasn't overly busy when I was there. The line coming in when I was leaving was ridiculous. So if you want to make a trip to downtown Disney, just make sure it is earlier in the day. So now I am going to end the video with the spider bot. And with that, I hope you all have an amazing new year. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. And since I'm a loner, I gotta do this by myself. <laughs> so first, you turn it on. <laughs> no, I'm Spider bot online. Ooh, Spider bot's online. And then I just turn on the c controller by flipping that switch, and it is all ready to go. <laughs> just make sure it's not on some. <laughs> noisy wooden table that is obnoxious so then i could push this button and it could give the little spider-man logo it could go semi up and down shields recharging And when it doesn't want to be my friend, it self-destructs. <laughs>